Hi everyone, it's Mr. Robbo and I'm just making a quick video tutorial about using the Nintendo Wiimote as an alternative for an interactive whiteboard. Now in my school we're uh, quite tight with our money so we've only got three interactive whiteboards and they're not timetabled um, for my classes so I need to come up with a different way to engage kids. So this interactive whiteboard suits people in that similar situation as it costs about 1% of you know, commercial interactive whiteboards and what I'm going to do is show you how to set it up and then show you just a couple of ways that you can use it to replicate some of the features of an interactive whiteboard. As Johnny Lee said you get about 80% of the way for about 1% of the cost. Okay, now the first point of call is to go to your computer and you need to have your Nintendo Wiimote ready and raring to go and you have to use your Bluetooth enabled computer to find the Wiimote. Now that's obviously the first step, my computer comes with Bluetooth inside it but if you don't actually have a Bluetooth adapter I think they're about $40 and they just plug straight into your USB drive. So it's the same process as how you would send a file between mobile phones. Simply find, go into your control panel, find the Bluetooth devices menu, double click it, and here it's going to ask me to add. So I need to add the Nintendo remote. My device is set up and ready to be found. I've actually got my Nintendo Wiimote sitting probably about a meter away from my computer right now. And that should search for the Wiimote. And you'll see Nintendo RVL, RVL. Yours will probably be a little bit different to that. I think there might be a unique number. But that's the device we want to add. And we hit next. And we don't want to use a pass key. That's just a security feature. And obviously you can't enter the pass key in on the Nintendo Wiimote. So we'd never actually be able to connect it. And here it goes trying to install the Bluetooth device. everything goes like it usually does it should be successful and it has it's been actually installing it right now we just hit finish and it's now in our list of devices I've just loaded Johnny Lee's program as you can see and I'm about to calibrate the whiteboard to my computer using my infrared pen which I purchased online. You can also make these very easily, but I thought, why not? I'll just, I'll just buy one. They're only five dollars anyway. So once you, you're ready to go, you put your projector plugged in, your Wiimote's attached to your computer via Bluetooth. You simply hit the calibrate location button, and that'll actually bring up four crosshairs that you can use to calibrate. So I'll do that right now, and you can follow along and see what's happening. I'm going to show you how I use the interactive whiteboard and mobile phones and Bluetooth technology to, to do an activity in class around drugs on sport. Now this activity could be replicated um, for anything and it's a very simple one using a program called Annotate Pro, which is that one just there. So I'll get up and I'll take you through the steps and then I'll explain how there's also other software that can turn your um, interactive whiteboard into basically a fully fledged interactive whiteboard. And as I said, 1% of the cost. So just follow along and I'll show you how I did it. Some of the other 
circle. Now, once the kids had actually had done their mind map, I got them to um, not write it down because that's when they're, they're not engaged. They were all speaking their mind and, and inputting it. And then what we did is um, got their mobile phones out and I went and took a screenshot of the particular image and then we used that to send to their phone. So by clicking this button here, it'll capture the screenshot and then ask you where you want to save it. I'll save it to the desktop. And from there, we can bring back the icons. We can get rid of the mind map. And there'll be a screenshot saved on the desktop. I can simply right click it, go send to Bluetooth device, and find the student's phone. And there's my phone right there. If I hit next, it's now sending that to my phone. And I'll get a text message when that's been delivered. And sure enough, I have. Go into my phone, and the mind map is now on my phone. So, no more notes. The kids have it instantly, and rather than spending the time copying it down and not paying attention or inputting, it's now been delivered to them in a very personal and take home learning approach. So, I hope you can find some sort of use for that. Definitely lots of other things you can do with an interactive whiteboard. And I would really, really trust you to go and have a look at Mimeo because that is just fantastic. And yeah, let me know what you think.